two Karimo series. We are now in episode five, and now we are in the January transfer window. I don't think we can do much in this window except for some youth academy stuff. So in order to do that, I am going to sell some players, some fifth low fifty rated players that I will just not need because I'm a youth academy and how well that's going. So I'm going to just sell those players and invest in the youth academy because, as you can see there, twenty five k forty three pounds. I'm not going to. That sort of money is not really going to help us do anything since we invested so heavily in the uh, starting transfer window and the summer transfer window. But we have got an offer here for P. Will, Paul Will, but we're going to reject that straight away. He's one of our backup CDMs and I really don't want to sell him right now. And some other players we did want to sell, they do want to leave, which is actually a good thing because it just makes it easy for offers to come in like they have now. So we're just going to accept any offers that come their way. We're just gonna accept them, uh, even if they're like three hundred thousand. Doesn't matter. We are gonna get some training now. We are gonna continue with Hover, Backer, and Decker. Yeah, Hover is now up to sixty-seven overall, and the other players are moving along nicely as well. Continuing on now, we're gonna go through the generation this window quite smoothly, and we have gotten an offer for one of our other players, hundred and eighty thousand. 59 overall, 23 years old. Angela Maya, we're going to accept this offer as well. We've got some more uh, things coming back to us, and that's Fructor. He has got an offer from uh, Al Ali in the Saudi Arabian League. Obviously, that's going to be cancelled out, and we've got two players that have left, which is going to contribute good to our transfer budget for the Youth Academy. And there's an update on our Youth Academy for any of those who are interested. But now we are going to go and set up a, a scout in Cameroon, the one we just recalled called Lorenzo Decker. It's quite good. Judgment's not great, but his experience is good, which may help us. And um, hopefully Cameroon has some good players, as first suggested by Lil Wessie here. A big shout out to the guys really supporting the channel. And carrying along now, um, yes, that's the confirmation he is going to Cameroon. And we're going to get straight to some gameplay now. So. We are in the Dusseldorf Arena and they are kicking off with the ball. Playing it off nicely. Playing good passes. We're trying to press from the front. That's been, always been our aim. And they're going forward very fast. Trying to get back. They put a header over across. We've cleared it. We've chested it down. Ferreira now on the ball. He's running through it. Can he unlock Zhang Wong? Yes, he has. He's running down the wing. Ferreira's in the middle, alone, Ferreira gives it to, hits it, wide on the rebound. <laughs> what a goal, just a tap in, good shot from Ferreira as well. But we are going to continue on and they're running forward. They've unlocked a pass and they're going to hit it, can they hit it? So close, we should have been doing much better than that, but they have won a corner, but we did save that. Corner goes over, and they hit across, and there's a player there, which is good. Now same running forward fast. Puts a cross into the back stick, and weak header, but couldn't have anything on that. Oh, and they've chipped it up beautifully, beautiful skill, and they're running down the wing again. That's where they've been most dangerous. Now they've got the ball again in the box. It's coming along and they've got a save from Fructal. They should have scored then. We were exposed. Now the ball comes over the cross. And it's bobbling. And they're hitting it and they've hit it and they've scored. It's deflected everywhere and it's scored. They have the ball again, but we've won it back. We can give it off to Kuhn. Kuhn has the ball. He's running forward with the wide rig. off to Ferrer. Ferrer to wide rig. Oh, to Kuhn, but he does not hang on to it. The keeper gets there before him. But we're coming forward again. We give it off to Ferrer. Ferrer is now running through it. Can he put in wide rig? Yes, he can. Wide rig's got to run with it. Run with it, mate. Run with it. He's running with it. Can he hit? Can he score? <laughs> to the corner was he ever in doubt what a goal well deserved 
and then going forward now. It is cool. He receives a beautiful ball out wide. He's going to give it inside to Kun. Kun's making the run. He's going through. Can he get a box of back stick? No. Keeper's done really well. And now we're going forward again with Kern. Kern running forward. Gives off to Panzer, who is quite weak right now. Gives off to Jack. To Panzer. Can he put a beautiful... <laughs> They're coming forward now on the wing with Grimaldi. Grimaldi is far away from Hover now. He's going to put a ball into the box. They've got it across, but Fructal collects. It's going to be the end of the game now as the goalkeeper hits it up. Nothing much is going to happen, but it's just a down to Jerk. And he's going to hit it out to Panzer, but it's full time. Solid performance. We um, wasn't the easiest, but we came back and got the win. Very, very good stuff there. Now on some training, uh, it's Hover and Backer and Decker again. Deck is actually the same name as a scout, which is a bit weird. Booking against some same against Rostock. What happens here? It's a 1 1 draw. And Singh scores for us. Getting some more training drills now. Decker is now up to a 55. Hover nearly up to a 68 overall. And that means we're going to get on to our second game now. And this one's against Victoria Cologne. See what happens here. We start with the ball they're playing out wide. Lawrence gives off the whistle. And was tackled. That's a bad, bad tackle. And that will surely be a yellow card, probably for Kern right in the start of this game. He wasn't really happy before this game because I've not been picking him. But now here comes Jacku in the wing and he put one inside his Ferrer has a shot he should have put this one away really with his quality that could be forward again have a hit and it's given to the keeper now into the second half nothing really happens again it's a very frustrating game this one but here's plays to Wydrick Wydrick plays inside can he score but he can't score just floats over very very unlucky now here comes the corner in the 50th minute Ferrer with the corner he plays it out wide to cut and he put up cross into the box, but it's cleared. Now they come again with whistle. And it's Ferreira. Can't try to do something, but they've won it back again. They're going to try to put it forward, and we've been exposed. Can Fructo come out and save something? Yeah, what? They missed somehow. But here goes Ferreira. Can we make something happen? Can Wydrit make a run? Yes, he can. He's putting a ball through to Wydrit. Can Ferreira get back and help? Yes, he can. But he's put a ball in for Ferreira. How close was that? Now here's Kuhn with the ball, plays off to Hover. He's running down the wing now. He's running down the wing. Can he find anyone in the middle? There's someone the singer's coming across, but gives this off to Ferreira, but he misses. Keeper has saved it. Very, very unlucky there. Put another ball across. Can Wider score? What a save from the keeper. I don't think that was going in anyway. But Hover's got it now. Can he put it across into the box? He's trying to go. And he gives it off to Kuhn. He's found someone. But Wider's not in the middle. So he can't put it away. And that's going to be full time. That is going to be full time. What a lackluster game. That was probably like one of the worst and frustrating games to play. Very, very unlucky. We are going to get some training now. Same people hover. Backer and Decker. Uh, Backer is now up to a fifth. 53 overall number Decker and Backer with 15 year old players so they can't even play if, even if I wanted them to. I'm going to get some more games now. Simulation and we have drawn another simulation against Halle this time. 1-1. One, one. More training now. Hover up to 68 and Decker to a 56 overall. I might take Hover out just to let him grow on his own for a bit. I don't want him growing too fast too quickly but we have some scout reports. We're not going to sign any of these guys yet, I don't think. You know, they're not very good right now. Let's scout them a bit more, see what we can get out of them. Maybe one of them was alright, but I don't know. We will see, but we will sign one of them later on, hopefully in the next episode or so. So keep watching the series and like and share and subscribe to my videos. So getting into the next game now, we are... <laughs> Playing a team that I've again never really heard of. It's a bit funny, but we are playing a team called Chesmister FC, and they have the ball boy Wanebagujang. 
But now here they come, they've got the ball, they're free. Oh my god, what a save from Fructor. We got caught nothing in the first few minutes of that game. That's good. Gives us to Farrah. Farrah gives us to Wydrick. Can he shoot? Can he score? <laughs> Gets the ball, takes a touch and puts it right into the top corner. What a goal. And here we come again from the wing. Kuhn on the wing. Can he put a ball into the box? Now he cuts back inside. Puts a ball into the box. Ferreira. So close. Now here comes Wydrick. Gives off to Singh. Singh plays it off to Ferreira. But he will be offside on this occasion. We're heading towards half time. Now it's after half time. They're putting the ball to the cross. And they've got there. Can he chip the keeper? No. For up to amazing. Stop. Now we're going again. They're going again. Oh, they put a ball across. Can they score? Yes, they have. Fructo didn't clear it properly and they have scored. They have come back and haunted us. And now here comes Farah. Can he put a ball in through Wydra? Yes, he can. Wydra on the run. Can he score? Oh, maybe should not have taken the extra touch. No, it's a penalty. It's, it's somehow a penalty. It somehow fouled him in the box and we've got a penalty from this. You know, a lot of penalties. We missed the other two with Wider and Ferreira, but Kevin Wider put in. It's so confusing this penalty thing, I have to say. And we have hit the crossbar somehow, some way. But here comes Ferreira now trying to get something in the last nothings of this game. But here's Wider. Can he play it through to Ferreira? He shoots. <laughs> But he doesn't shoot there, he just cuts back inside and somehow, some way gets the chance to shoot and he scores. How has he done that? But now they're trying to come again in the last minutes. Can they make anything happen? We're trying to hold off. Oh my god, Hover's been caught out. Can he shoot? They've nearly scored. And that should be that, but they're having one more chance. One last chance. And they put one in for Fuxus Carter quarter. And that will be that. A brilliant performance from our team and yeah, very happy. We're gonna get some more training now. Becca doing really well, Decker doing well and Sig Silver definitely I might need to have to take him out of now the trainings. Now we are gonna get into some simulation against Uta Hashing and we have one three one, but Jacu has caught an injury. Which is not good at all, and but we are going to get some more training, which is done well. Deck nearly up to a 57 already, man. He's so good. Now to another simulation against Groups. And we have won 4 on very comfortably, but Wydrit has got an injury. Oh my god, Wydrit has got an injury. Hopefully this is not too much. Two months. Two months without Wydrit. How are we going to cope? It'll have to be, I think, Jaku will have to cover up. For, yeah, Jaku can play up front. So it will be Jaku leading our line. Yeah, it's going to, yeah. Let's see, Jaku, he can play striker. Jaku will have to come in. you have to perform. Because wider is not out. That means Kuhn will have to get more game time. And, uh, yeah, it's very, very unfortunate, yeah. Are oh, we having to do that? Ah, that's big, big. And see how we'll do in the next two episodes without Wydra. So, yeah, we're gonna, you know, next episode we're gonna get into these games, two games. Ingolstadt were playing top of the league where we were without Wydra, and we need him most in the biggest game of our season to maybe try to close that gap. As you can see, six points. You can close it to three points. We are 11 points clear from Udit, the third place team. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next episode, and bye-bye.